Hello friends, uh, in the last video, uh, I got the ART-13 powered up, but uh, it had some difficulties showing a, a grid and plate, uh, and I thought they were voltages, but uh, now I'm pretty sure that they are uh, currents. Uh, I have to really re read the manual and get familiar with this thing instead of just putting applying power and messing around with knobs, which is mostly how I do things. So uh, the one thing I did not show in that video, and I was completely uh, negligent in not showing that, is the really the the, the face made for for TV, which is uh, the auto tuning, and I really ought to show that. So uh, I'm going to do that, and I'll also show what I uh, discovered in terms of um, why I wasn't getting any uh, any other uh, indications uh, on the uh, on the meter here. So let's take a look at, again quickly at the setup. In um, my last video, outside of this um, series, uh, just talking about World War II equipment, you saw how I set up my uh, battery and, and AC um, uh, power supply in parallel. And I'm just showing you what I've got here. So you can see on top of the battery is the green Harris uh, a, a, a DC supply from uh, AC to DC. On the left is the dynamotor for the uh, BC-375, and one of these days I'll get around to making some videos on that. Uh, and then on the right here, on the right, we've got the dynamotor for the, uh, for the ART-13. And so you can see the power supply is on, and it's paralleled, so uh, we've got plenty of juice. Okay, so let's let's. I wanted to first show you the uh, the auto tuning. All right, so um, the the we we power up the transmitter by putting it in voice or CW or MCW mode. And here is where you select uh, select your channel, and it's got up to ten channels. I think one of which is uh, designated for use with the low frequency oscillator, which I really don't have any use for at this time. So uh, what it's gonna do, we're gonna set it to a channel and the, the, pre, the, 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 uh, the dials can be preset um, by loosening a quarter of a turn, one of these, organizing it and then tightening it uh, when you're on a certain channel. But I don't know what these are all set for, uh, probably nothing that useful. But I'll, let, let, let's see it go. So I'm going to just put it on channel two and see what happens. Okay, and when it's done tuning, the red light comes on telling you that it's ready to operate and, and ready to be keyed. Uh, and so what happens is, is you, you saw them all turn in one direction, and that's sort of to in, get an index, set them to a known position. Uh, and then they sort of fast forward in the other direction to get to the desired spot uh, that it was programmed. You'll notice this one turns a lot. And the reason, this is actually a 20-turn um, uh, uh, dial here and there's a little uh, a turns counter here so you get one turn here and 20 turns there and that's basically it so let's set it back and watch it another time There you have it. Uh, so now we're, let's take a look at the meter. If you put this on, oh, so uh, battery voltage is fine. You can see that, that if, hopefully you can see that. Maybe I'll just zoom in a little bit for you here. Okay. So battery voltage is good. But the PA grid and the plate show nothing. And even when, uh, even when I key up, Oh, a little bit, a little bit of juice there, but not much. And so let's take a look at what the causes could be. 
All right, so we, we took out the manual here on my computer as a PDF, and I uh, dialed up section five, which is a uh, troubleshooting guide. And you can see here there are a few, few sections to look at. Uh, the leftmost column is the symptom to look through, uh, and then probable cause of the trouble, and finally suggested uh, remedy. So um, I started looking through these to see which symptom most closely matched what I was uh, encountering. And what I came upon is symptom number four. So symptom number four here, uh, no RF power output on any frequency range, that's correct. Transmitter not radiating, okay, that's fine. Uh, no voice or tone uh, is heard in the antenna. I haven't checked that. But he, this is what's interesting here. Uh, antenna current is zero, true. PA grid current is approximately zero. Interesting choice of words, approximately, because actually mine is not zero. It is a little above zero. Um, red indicator light is on. Dyna yes, dynamo operates, correct. And calibrate tune operate switch must be in operate position. And I'm just reviewing, yes, it is an operate position. Okay. So this seems to be cl as close as any of these symptoms. So let, let's take a look at the possible issues. Uh, and the first one listed is control C is set between two of the numbered positions. Okay, uh, possibly, let me, uh, there are other things to look at, but I will look at that. And the, the suggested fix for that is setting of control C is critical. If it is set between two positions, equipment will not operate set carefully so that the number positions line up with the index. Okay, so let's, that's the first thing we're going to check. All right, so the, the, the one we're looking at here is a C. And I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to see if that comes up, but it is off. You can see that there's a triangle here. I can't really read the number in the triangle. I think it says 12, position 12, whatever, whatever uh, you know, frequency and, and antenna loading this was set up in, in channel one. I have no idea. Uh, but you can see it's off. And so I wonder if, so I'm going to manually just move this so that it lines up. All right, hopefully you can see that it's a little better lined up. And now let's key it up and let's, uh, let's see if we get any grid current. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, so if it's off just slightly and we key up... There's, there's no grid current, I'm sorry, looking at the grid here. But as I adjust this C, now that it's lined up, you can see I'm getting grid current. And let's look at PA current. Yeah, PA current off the chart, but I am getting it. So now I have battery voltage, grid current, and plate current. All right, so that was that problem. Um, I had to get, that had to be lined up. So clearly a ton more for me to learn and understand about this transmitter. Uh, it's still a bit of a mystery to me, but I'm going to uh, continue to look through the manual. And uh, it even comes with this nice little handbook um, that tells you exactly, you know, for what frequency you want, how to set all the dial positions. And, uh, you know, it's got some explanation. And this, of course all fits down here nice and neatly um, for reference for the uh, for the aircraft uh, radio engineer all right so at least I've uh, solved that one problem and now to learn a lot more about how this works and to, to learn how to load up the antenna I think the the plate current is supposed to be dipped uh, by adjusting the uh, the antenna loading and the antenna tuning uh, I have a lot to read about that and also, I have to read about how to just tune this on a particular frequency. So more to come. Thanks a lot.